Hey, it's Steph. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm going to be doing my update to the deck of panning project pan. This is a project based on a deck of cards with a game board that Emily from Emily and Max created and she shuffles every month. I will have Emily linked down below so you can check her videos out. This is the last update before the finale. So it's a very exciting time of the year. I've been working on seven items this past month and I do have some rollouts. So I will be selecting new cards to work on for this last month before the finale. And if you are not subscribed to my channel and you don't wanna miss my finale, be sure to subscribe down below. I'm gonna go in the order of uh, the products that have been in the longest to the most recent products. So the product that I've been working on the longest is from my Milani Soft and Sultry Eyeshadow Palette. This was rolled in for the Prompt Metallic. And I rolled in a shade called Diamonds and Pearls. My goal was to hit pan and this is what it was looking like last month. I had 18 uses on it. I was so determined to hit this goal this month. Um, I've had this item in since the June update, so it's been quite a few months and I'm happy to report that I did finally hit pan. Hopefully you can see it's almost the same color as the shadow, but I only had to use it six additional times to hit pan with a total of 24 uses. I finally hit pan on this by just using it in my inner corner with a really like detailed brush. Um, this is not like my favorite shade. It doesn't have a lot of impact, but it works just fine for the inner corner. So I am happy to be rolling it out and I'm going to be picking a new card for this one. The next item that's been in the longest was for the Joker. And if you're not familiar with this project, if you pull the Joker card, you have to find an item that you really don't want to pan. And for that, I have my Milani Soft Focus Glow. I introduced this to the project in my August update, and this has been very difficult <laughs> for me to pan um, because I don't like mixing it into my foundation. I do not like it under my foundation. The only way that I'm willing to use this is mixing it into lotion and putting it on my legs because it's very sparkly and I don't want it on my arms. Um, so literally I put it on my legs. No one sees my legs. So it's very unnecessary. Um, and so I just wasn't doing it. And I just, last month I said, I really, really wanted to focus on this. I would see how the month would go and then kind of reevaluate. I finally was able to use this more, <laughs> but I got 10 uses out of it, which is amazing. It's still not empty. That is my goal is to empty it, but I'm crossing my fingers that I can empty it by the finale. I have 15 uses on this in this project. Um, yeah. And I'm sure the weight has changed. You'll see that on the screen, but this is very deceiving because you can kind of see through the package and it still says it's up here, but I'm guessing it's all up on the sides because this feels a lot lighter. But yeah, I will be so happy when this is gone. The next item was for the prompt wish list dupe. And I had a lot of like tinted moisturizers, lightweight foundations on my wish list. So I rolled in my Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I had the goal of 22 uses for this guy. Last month I had 19 uses, so I was really close to hitting my goal. And I actually used it an additional six times with a total of 25 uses. So as you can see, I hit my goal. I used it a few more times just because it was a little more convenient on some days than mixing foundations because I'm not panning a foundation that matches me 100%. This is rolling out and I will be picking a new card. The next prompt was nail polish and, and I rolled this in, in my September update. Um, this is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry and the shade is Slick Slate. 
this is what is on my nails today and I only had one use on this um, last update and I got two more uses this past month including this that I just threw on before filming uh, thankfully it's an insta dry so it's I think it's okay but um, my goal for this was five uses and I have three so far so I only have two more to go I think I will be able to hit that goal by the finale because I'm now only working on two nail polishes and the other one is can be rolled into next year. Um, so I'm going to focus on this one. I, I really thought I would be wearing my red nail polish in December, but I guess I'm going to be wearing this polish in December. Yeah, we'll see what we'll see how it goes. And then the next prompt was social media pics. So I posted a few options of products on my Instagram stories. If you want to be a part of that next time, then go follow me on Instagram. I will leave my handle in the description box below and on the screen here. If you voted in that poll, you guys chose my Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter. I just have this little mini and this is the shade Mesmerize. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's a line of demarcation right here. And um, yeah, I feel like if that is accurate, I'm going through this really quickly. But my goal was 22 uses. Last update, um, I had used it three times. And this past month, I've gotten seven more uses on it, including today. So 10 uses total out of my 22. I really got to focus on this if I'm going to hit my goal by next month. For the finale but um i primarily use this to mix in either with my foundations or my cream blushes i have it mixed into my cream blush today but you can't really see it because i powder over my cream blush and then i put a cream uh, and then i put a powder blush over it so it's kind of unnecessary i got this in like a set I don't know, I don't think I'll be purchasing any liquid highlighters in the future because it feels a little unnecessary to me. And I always powder my face, so I always cover it up. But this is staying in. The next prompt I rolled in last update and it was random color generator. I will pop up on the screen the color that I randomly generated. It was like a dark green color. And I rolled in an eyeshadow from my Profusion Harvest palette. It's the shade Equinox. And this is what it was looking like last month when I rolled it in. My goal was just to use this 10 times because I knew I only had two months. And it is a bold color for me. I've been really enjoying this actually. This is what I have on as my wing today. I never tried it as a wing before. Um, I think it looks good. I'd rather use like my green eyeliner that I'm painting as a wing, but I have the eyeliner on my bottom waterline and lash line today. So they actually pair really well together. And if you're wondering, I have my Prettiest for Your Face single eyeshadow in the shade Hidden Treasure that's in my Throwback 30 project all over my lids. And then um, I have some shades in this palette in my crease so I have this whole like theme going on with all the things that I'm painting I'm painting a lot of green apparently back to the shadow um I used this four times this past month and I actually hit pan I hit pan after two uses <laughs> this is a very like emollient shade um it moves around a lot it's kind of like a super shock shadow I guess um but yeah is very very creamy and soft and I'll throw up some the looks that I created with this and I'm surprising myself how much I like it I thought about rolling it out because I hit pan but um I'm already rolling out a few items and I didn't want to roll too many new things in before the finale so I'm going to stick with my 10 uses I have six uses left not sure if I'm going to be able to hit that, but I feel like December is a perfect month to do more of these types of looks. I feel very holiday 
Christmas today um, with my red hair and the green. So yeah, um, that's staying in. And then the last prompt is oldest product. And I rolled in a ColourPop highlighter. This is like a magnetic highlighter that you can pop into these palettes. And this is the shade Dreamscape. My goal is 22 uses and this is what it was looking like last month when I rolled it in. I think I had like one or two uses on it the whole five years that I've had it. Um, and I used it 11 times, including today. This is the highlight that is on my cheeks. And this is what it's looking like. Hopefully there's some wear that you can see. Um, I do enjoy this. I think this is really good for this time of year. It's pretty icy, so it's been working well. I'm going to pull up the game board and um, I will show it to you on the screen while I'm shuffling. I did not think this through with painting my nails, but they feel dry and I did a really thin coat. So yeah, I think they're okay. I'm like messing with them. Um, let's find the Joker. I have my Monet cards here. I love them. They're so beautiful. Here is my Joker, his little girl. Um, and then, oh, then another Joker. So I'm going to pull this Joker out. This has like a little baby on it. <laughs> and then I'm just going to shuffle this a few times. Emily always leaves the face cards the same. Oh, I'm like so scared for my nails. That was the worst shuffle ever. And then the numbers cards are the ones that she shuffles. Um, I did hear that she's bringing this back next year and I'm 100% joining in again. I think this project is so fun and it's gonna be, it's gonna be one of the only prompt based projects I'll be working on next year. This year I participated in a lot of prompt based projects and the ones, actually quite a few of them are rolling into next year. <laughs> so I still will be working on some, um, but I'm just, I don't think I'm gonna be joining any new ones next year. But watch, the fantastic ladies are gonna come out with such a creative one that I can't resist and I'll just have to like be overwhelmed. But anyway, <laughs> um, I always cut the deck so it's like super random. So let's see what I get. King of Spades. And this is called Cliff Etretat Sunset from 1883. Very yellow. Um, and the Black King is for newest product. That is very interesting because I'm on a no buy um, for makeup. And so my newest product is going to be skincare. All right, I I have to think about that because I'm working like I might have to just pull in something that I'm already using, but we'll see about that. Um, I'm gonna shuffle the cards again, just one more time, and this is gonna be Queen of Clubs which is represent another project pan. That's fun. I've never gotten that prompt before. I've actually never gotten either of these and there are two that stay the same. <sighs> okay, represent another project pan. This is hard. I'm gonna have to think about this. I'm gonna go grab my products and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm crazy. <laughs> Ah, okay, so for newest product, um, I just went back to my haul, my most recent haul, and this isn't a new product, but it's new to me. My friend decluttered this to me, and it is a MAC pigment. Now, I 
feel kind of crazy for rolling this in. I just know I won't use it unless it's in a project. This is the shade Old Gold. And when I talked about it in my haul, I thought maybe I could use it in like a around Christmas time. So this is like a perfect opportunity. I will swatch it for you. This is the only pigment that I own. And I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to like it. So I really want to take it out. It's a gorgeous color. Like, don't get me wrong. But I'm very cool toned. <laughs> and this is very warm toned. So I don't even know why I took it. I think because I'm just so curious about pigments. Loose pigments. Um, so I wanted to just do like, just use it goal not set a usage goal, but I think my goal for this month is to use it twice. I hope that's like not unreasonable to you guys. I only have one month um, to use it and it's very like specific for, for me. Um, yeah, I just wanna use it twice in, in two different ways and see if I even like it. You might see it in my declutter at the end of the year. I don't know. But I'm excited to just see what that is about. And then for Represents Another Project Pan, I decided to represent Happy Hour, which is a brand new project uh, with the Fantastic Ladies created by Deb and Danny. I am not participating in this and I really wanted to support them um, but I'm just doing so many projects right now and I selected the prompt St. Patty's Day that is my husband's birthday <laughs> so I thought that was kind of fun and the prompt for that is a green or gold item it could be name packaging the product itself etc so I'm rolling in this dose of colors single eyeshadow in the shade heart of gold and I've actually never used this. This is what it's looking like. I have swatched it before, but I haven't put it on my eyes. So I think my goal is to five uses. I'm, I can't believe I'm rolling in two eyeshadows. This is the shade. It's like an old, well, it's like the same. What is this called? Old gold. It's an old gold. Isn't that funny? It's like a brass color. Ooh. Okay, that was actually go really well together. <laughs> you might be seeing a look created with these. But yeah, that's really pretty. That's my update. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And of course, check out Emily in the description box. I'm sure you already follow her. Everybody knows Emily. She's great. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe. So I see you in my next video.